Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilowati. I'm an excellent Pipe enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I want to show you how to create a very, very special waterfall chart where a user can change dynamically the value of the waterfall chart as well as the breakdown that will be displayed in the waterfall chart. Something like this. I want to show you how to create a piano waterfall chart like this with field parameters which will allow you to select GL value to display. For example, at the moment this is displaying total PL. You can select sales and we are now displaying sales waterfall by state. Or we can flick it back to PL. With the breakdown down here, there is also an option to display state or city. So this is now PL waterfall by city showing profit going up, mostly driven by Keynes, Launceston, Hobart, and Melbourne, whereas Darwin is going backwards year on year. Or you can flick it into state and you can see that Tasmania, Victoria, Queensland, and South Australia are all improving year on year, but New South Wales is declining year on year. So highly flexible, we can select values to display as well as selecting the breakdown to be displayed. There are three steps required. Step number one is to create a list using field parameter for city and state. And then we're going to create a list using field parameter for the GL selection, i.e. the sales, material costs, and PNL. And then after that, we're going to build our waterfall chart together. Let's get started with step one. Click modeling, new parameter, build, and then create the city slash state list and then find the information it's being called cost center description and cost center group make sure add slicer to this page is tick and then hit create and watch a new slicer will be created in here the first step is now done so let's just drag that there Step two, go to modeling, new parameter, build. Let's create a new list, the GL list. And then we are going to add sales. Just click it, PNL and material costs. So I have previously created measures. So I'm just selecting my measures and creating my list. So that's our GL list. Step one and step two is now done. Next, all we need to do is build the waterfall chart. Click waterfall, make it a bit bigger. And then let's fill in this section. For the category, enter what do you want to see in the first bar chart and the last bar chart. I want to see year. So I search for year. Here it is. Okay, so here is done. The breakdown is the things in between. I want to put in state and city list. So drag that. And then for the y axis, I want to see sales or PL. So that's my GL list. And voila, I've got my waterfall. Now this waterfall is showing information from year 2020, 2021, and 2022. That may be an overkill. If you're happy with it, that's fine. But if you want to select less years, then let's add a slicer as well. How do we do that? Very simple. Let's find a slicer in here. And... I'm going to get rid of this to give me space and click slicer in there and let's add the year 
in there and change that into drop down list. Now let's select the year. Okay, now this is a two year waterfall. Okay, now this waterfall is okay looking, but I prefer to see some values. So let's add values in the column. So click column, data labels on so that we can see the dollar. Okay, so now if I select cost center description, I'm seeing cities. If I select cost center group, I'm seeing the state. Now, let's make that a little bit more user friendly. So click the DAX. Rather than calling it cost center description, we can change what's being displayed in here. So we can call this cities. Just change the first part of this DAX. Those in the inverted commas are basically option to be displayed. Okay. And cost center group, I'm going to rename that to state. And click that and just watch that will be updated. City and state. Now, these are the breakdown. So I'm going to rename this to make it more user friendly. So in the field section in here, I'm just going to double click that, call it breakdown option to display so that we can bring this up bring this down like that and then for here for the gl list same thing let's call it value to display and also let's make it more user friendly. I don't really like that dash in the measure description. So what we can do is we can select the GL list. And let's modify the format. Let's remove the underscore in there. And let's say I only want sales and total PNL. What we can do is we can comment out this section by doing that just press test test and then watch this we will only have two click tick first now only two to be displayed now if total pnl is too long you can shorten that and you can also change the order make that one number two and make that one number zero and you will have pnl on top and then sales at the bottom after you click tick. Just watch. Right? So now we can select PNL. We can select sales. And same with breakdown option to display, city, and state. Now, what if people select both? Well, Power BI will be confused. So the best way to avoid that confusion is format the slicer. So that the slicer settings selection is only single select. Same with that. Make sure it is single select is on. That way that only, only one can be selected by our user. Now, if you don't want to see that year in there because it's distracting, you can format the X axis and just turn off title and voila we are done now if you want to we can add some headings in there I'm just recycling from my previous week's video Control c Control v this is our waterfall charts by city last state and we are done all right i hope you have learned something useful today and see you next time <laughs>